In this video, I will be talking about layers and compositions in Adobe After Effects. So here I have got a new blank project and I'm going to create a simple composition by clicking on new composition button and then all the default settings and then just click on OK. So the composition is ready on the left hand side. You can see the composition uh, is created with the name comp1. Now a composition can have multiple layers. So try, let us try to add layers. Currently there are zero layers as you can see in the timeline panel. There are zero layers in this particular composition. So let us try to add a layer into this composition. So to add the layer, go to the composition uh, layer menu and then click on new. So here you can add these kinds of layers. So let us add the text layer. Now there are two ways in which you can add the text layer just by clicking here. You can see the text layer is added. You can add the text and you can see the text is added there. So that is one way to add the text layer. So let me show you another way so to delete this uh, layer. You can select the layer and click or uh, press delete or the backspace in the keyboard. Now uh, currently there are zero layers once again. So to add the text layer using the toolbox, you can see there is a this horizontal type tool in this uh, tool panel and then just select that and then you can just click in the uh, composition uh, window and then type anything say XYZ so that is how you can add the text layer as well so there are two ways and you can see in this timeline panel there is a layer added let me talk about uh, this important uh, columns in this particular timeline so on the left hand side this is the setting which hides video from the composition so you can click on this and you can see you know you no longer see that particular xyz text in the composition if you uh, like click on that one so if the eye icon is there that means the layer is visible the next uh, setting is about the audio if there is an audio in that particular uh, layer then you can uh, see that icon there so right now this audio does uh, this particular layer doesn't have any audio and that's why it is showing empty but if it was there you we we can mute that audio or we can remove that audio by clicking on this button the next one is uh, this thing which calls as uh, hides all non solo video so this is another important uh, setting then there is a lock icon you can lock this layer and then what will happen is that you can't edit that layer unless you click on unlock again the next thing is you can label this particular layer with the different colors just to identify for example let us make it brown that way uh, you can see that uh, the layer in this uh, timeline is also completely brown so that we can differentiate between two layers next thing is it tells like what kind of layer it is since it is a text layer it is showing t there and uh, what is this uh, text we have written here xyz so that's why it is showing xyz and then uh, this one is basically a track number then there is a mode which we can change like this and uh, then there is a this thing called as track matting so i will be talking about track mat in a separate video so right now you can just ignore this and then there is a parent and link so parent and link basically allows you to move uh, multiple layers together okay as a child and parent uh, relationship so these are the important columns in this particular timeline and on the right hand side you can uh, see as exactly uh, you can drag this particular marker to see uh, at specific point of time how the composition looks like so currently we don't have any animation nothing is there so that's why you will not note any difference but as we add uh, keep on adding the animations the different things will uh, show as we move in the timeline so to play this uh, particular composition what you can do is you can click on this button in the preview panel so if the preview panel is not available or you can't see that you can go to window and then click on preview so right now it is already visible so i'm just gonna click on play and this is how the composition is looking like so currently there is no animation as i said so let us add some animation there but before that let me zoom this or uh, make the text bigger and to do that you can select use this selection tool and then drag this like that and then move it around as well and next thing that i wanted to show you is 
how we can add the animation now to do that uh, what you can do is let us say you want to zoom in that particular text so if you click on this arrow what happens is that all these uh, text and transform tools are shown in this transfer th section you can see there is a scale property so using the scale uh, property you can uh, use uh, like add the zoom in effect and for that let us say at the fourth second we can add this uh, keyframe so to do that just click on this particular clock icon right in front of scale and then keyframe will be added you can see this blue icon so that is how the keyframe looks like and let us go back to the first second and there what we are going to do is we are going to reduce the zoom level so you can see that is how you can reduce the zoom level so just drag this this particular thing you can see that as i take the mouse over this one these arrows are coming up and then you have to just drag it on the left hand side to make it smaller and as we do this the keyframe is also added so you can see there is a keyframe there and now if you play this let us see the magic what is happening so you can see the animation is added simple animation that's it uh, that is how you can add the animation and use this layer so apart from scale there are different properties as well like position rotation opacity etc that you can edit using the keyframes another thing that i want to tell you is that just right click on this particular layer and there are different options that you can see here mask mask and shape path quality switches transform and then there is a time frame blending 3d layer guide layer markers blending mode layer styles effect and then there is a distort and a lot of different types of effects are available here then there is effect controls as well then keyframe assistant track and stabilize you will pre-compose interval selection so all these uh, settings are available there you can also rename the layer as well just click on this one and then you can rename the layer so i'll be covering all these uh, settings in the upcoming videos right now uh, let us keep this video simple just try to understand how we can add this layer so we have added the text layer similarly you can add the shape layer as well so again go here and then click on new then click on a shape layer and then you can add this shape like this so you can uh, choose different shapes for example here you can uh, press the alt key on the windows and then you can see different uh, shapes are available for you for your selection so you can add ellipse whatever you want to add you can add it like this so this that's how you can add different uh, shape layers so you can see here these two ellipses have been added in this particular shape layer and the same uh, way we, we added the animation to the text layer you can add the animations for the shapes as well there are scale position rotation all these properties are available and as i said to preview just click here and there are different other settings uh, composition uh, settings uh, for this uh, preview so you can adjust the resolutions and you can uh, do the fast previews and all these settings are also there I hope this video is useful to you. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.